Alright, today uh, we're trying to put some weight in our tires because uh, this is a lawn tractor, not a garden tractor. It's uh, harder to put weights on these. And also, it's cheaper to put weights on, put weight in it as opposed to on it in your tire, just like they do with the big tractors. So we were able to break the bead on the, just the top of the tire here. Use the funnel. Put four gallons of uh, winter wiper fluid. Apparently that's what everybody uses. You want to make sure you get the, the negative 20, negative 30. Because you don't want this stuff freezing in there. And like I said, we just put four gallons in there. You probably could fit a little more, but you do want to leave air in there so you can still get your pressurization and everything and have a little cushion. But four gallons is what, 30, about 32 pounds? So I'm happy with that. Uh, so now we've got to reset this. So we're going to use our old trick where you use some uh, starter fluid and a lighter. It's going to poof and we'll immediately start filling it. With some air. All right, we got air in there. All right, let's go ahead and hook this up. Pull that back out. See how this goes. Well, apparently we're air to make sure what good enough. I guess we'll do this old-fashioned way. Uh, which is going to be dang near impossible. One more time. Hey, right, got the chain back on there. Uh, it is much easier if you just take the wheel off, put that chain on, because you can kind of shake it and rattle it around all you need. It makes it a lot easier to get everything hooked up. Got this outside. We got uh, 32 pounds of fluid in there, and I went ahead and ordered the tensioner there, and I put it on the inside so it's kind of out of the way and less likely to get cut or snagged on anything. And once again, this was a lot easier to put on with uh tire being off looks like i might yeah it's good enough it's just supposed to hold the tire in place so uh we're gonna remount this yeah, and uh yeah, do it the same yeah, thing to the other one yeah. all right i'm working on the second tire now and uh just pulled off just the same let all the air pressure out by just pushing it in and then uh use this big weight here knock down on it to, uh break the bead uh it just broke on the top side the bottom side's fine, and then I uh, stuck my funnel in, and we're just pouring in. I already got uh, two gallons in there, it's my third. I got one more to go in there after this. And then, uh, yep, we'll pop the bead back on and put the tire back on. Well, put the chains on and the, the little bungee thing that helps hold the chains in place. 
and then put the tire back on. Alright. Alright, we got it all filled up. Now we're going to attempt to reset this bead on this one using our, you know, star fluid, extended lighter, and there, of course. I like to go ahead and hook that up. Alright. See if we can get the air to. missed it. Let's try it one more time. That worked. All right, on this one, I was having a little bit more trouble uh, getting the bead to reset by popping it. Uh, one of the things was is this was all open all around there, so when it caught fire, it had plenty of places to go, and it wasn't pushing it back out like it needed to. So I just simply took a ratchet strap here, put it around it, cranked it down, so it kind of pushed one side in and gave it less room to pop out. So there's that. Now I. Uh, just need to get the, the chain back on there, a little uh, bungee cord chain holder thing, and then, uh, yeah, we'll get it back put on the tractor here. Alright, so here's the, the chain back on, and it is much easier to get it on and get it as tight as you can with it uh, with the tire off. The tire's not that hard to get off, so it's almost kind of worth it. I mean, that's all the way on the last bracket. And then on the inside here... You see we got the little bungee cord that's supposed to help hold it tight and this piece here this is a little hook it's on the last link as well so it's pretty much as tight as we can get it and that's all right and we're gonna throw it back on here and uh, i'm assuming everybody knows how to put the tires on and off but if you don't if you look on the this part of the tire you got this little notch here and what you do An error has occurred. Try again later. with that notch is on here you also have this piece so make sure you don't lose that but it sits in the little groove there so you just line that notch up there slide this on put your washer back on and this little keys on there and it slips on on the outside locks it in to get it off you just gotta literally take a screwdriver there it goes pry this off i'm sure there's some special tool you can buy if you want but pry this off pull that off and the tire just slides right off it's that easy and there were on these there was these little rubber caps i just took a pair of pliers grabbed the cap and pulled that off so that's all there's to that let's throw it back on there and see how it looks all right, they're back on the chain. Uh, finished airing that up. Uh, once you do fill these with fluid, one thing that I've learned from my big tractor is uh, whenever you are going to fill it, like add air, check the air, especially when you're going to check the air, you got to make sure that that's at the top. If not, if you got it at the bottom, you push it in, it's going to start spewing all that liquid back out at you. So just make sure you got your. Uh, tire valve at basically the you know 12 o'clock position and fill it there and uh, uh let's see if we can see it you can see that key there you know there's a little groove in here and you just slide it in and then i, I just take a pair of pliers and kind of pinch it together and until it pops back in place but 
There we go. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll get out there and uh, run around, run them around a little rough and uh, make sure they all hold in place. All right. Well, uh, we got the tires put on, tire chains put on. So appreciate everybody watching. Hope this might help some of y'all. Uh, like I said, just from the little bit of use I've used them so far, huge difference on what I can do and where I can go with this thing. So if you like it, you know, like, let me know what you think. If I screwed it all up, let me know. You know, I'm sure somebody will watch this that knows a lot more about it than I do. So, uh, like, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Y'all have a good one. Let's give this a shot.